In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the ID attribute in your HTML to apply it to specific elements and then apply CSS to those attributes. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. I have a basic HTML page coded up here. It's represented in the browser down below and we're gonna add some IDs. So for the paragraph, I'm gonna add ID of, let's call it paragraph. And then I'm gonna create a span tag right here. And close the span tag. And I'm gonna give it an ID of, ID attribute. And I didn't close the span tag over here. Okay, so we're gonna save this page refresh the page and nothing actually happened on the visible page. So the IDs don't actually change the page appearance on their own, but we can now select these IDs using CSS. So if we add a style tag up in the header and add some CSS styles, we see that we can style based on the ID. So for the ID, we have to have a hashtag before the actual ID. So I'm gonna put in there hashtag paragraph, which is, I'm just gonna copy and paste because I can't type and talk at the same time. I'm actually gonna also add the type in here just for completeness. Okay, so we have paragraph here, open and close curly brackets, and I'm gonna make the whole sentence bigger. Font size 22 pixels. Save that, refresh this, and we see that the text all grew in size. Now we have another ID, the span ID right over here. I'm gonna copy that one, hashtag, put in the ID, open and close the curly brackets, and I wanna make this color red. So now everything that's wrapped in the span tag that has this ID is gonna be colored red. Save this page, refresh it down here, and we now have red text. So that is what IDs are really used for throughout your page. IDs are also used for selectors for other things like JavaScript and the jQuery library for JavaScript can use IDs and classes as selectors to do things on the page. But at the, in their basic form, we can style IDs with CSS very easily, very quickly. And that's all there is to applying IDs to your HTML elements and using CSS to style them. You can also use JavaScript or jQuery to do more advanced stuff with ID attributes. But all in all, I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.